What's up guys? Matty Ice back at it again with another review. And tonight's review is gonna be a little bit different. We've been doing a lot of sodas and snacks, so let's jump into a product. That's been a while. As seen on TV is calling me back. So today's thing is kind of strange. So what would you pick up historically if you were going to look in the nighttime? Maybe matches. You could light a candle with these. This is probably one of the earliest examples we'll have of light. You know, lighting a piece of wood and holding a flame. After that, we'll probably see lanterns. Uh, oil lanterns, this one's LED in this case. Next, we'll have modern flashlights. We've got the Handy Bright here and then my little Ryobi light. These are modern examples of how we beat back the night and you'll see similar things in car headlights. And then probably my favorite way to harness fire would be with a torch where you just turn on a gas and then there you go. You got yourself a torch. So. You know, none of those though are super practical. You have to carry them with you. What if you could have something compact that would allow you to turn the night into bright? Well, have I got the product for you. Introducing Night View NV, the Night View Glasses. They're very careful not to call it night vision. I'm probably sure that would be a huge lawsuit for them, but We'll give you guys a look at that. Look at that, nice yellow lenses on them. And then they have these little pictures. We've got our top before where everything's kind of dim and then the one below it where you've got all this detail. Now, it's not claiming to make the night completely transparent, but it is claiming to have this increased kind of like definition tonight. So let me just read you some of the claims on here. We've got specially coated yellow lenses that block blue light and cause that causes nighttime glare 100 percent uva and uvb protection so kind of like a polarization with this yellow coating i'm assuming which is kind of you know going to filter out the blue light and i guess make things appear differently uh specifically coated yellow lenses block out nighttime glare great for any weather so doesn't matter if it's raining snowing uh we've also got virtually indestructible okay and reduces eye strain i'm just like that says turn the night or turn night into bright that's just that seems outrageous i mean uh it's just, there's, I, I don't see any way these could do what they claim to do yes Yellow lenses do help with contrast, especially in certain circumstances. You'll see you know, people in athletics even wear coated lenses and they'll do different things for nighttime environments, daytime environments, maybe high glare environments or providing different types of detail. So let's open these up and let's take a look. Inside the box is literally just a pair of glasses. And I have to say, when they're saying virtually indestructible, I don't know what they're talking about. These are very flimsy. These kind of feel like glasses you would get at the dollar store. I mean, I'll show you guys. Look at how thin. I mean, it's like a large paperclip thickness on that. Uh, tapered ends, and then, <laughs> look at those. those. Those are so bad. The very tiny nose pads on there. Nothing on here feels well constructed. These hinges, I know it's, it's very hard to see, but they are microscopic. Microscopic. They are so, so tiny, and it just feels like it's moments away from disaster. So let's try them on. Ooh, oh yeah. How you doing? Huh? Huh? Yeah, man, you wear these. And I have to say, everything does feel very um, vivid in uh, yellow, if you will. Um, hmm. Interesting. It's it's weird looking at everything because you know it's, you're just getting that yellow. So man, I I feel like I'm pretty close to creeping on some uh, playgrounds or something, or you know, asking everyone, "Am I the only one around here?" Uh, <laughs> Oh, we're enjoying the weather today. Yes, we are. Oh, these new glasses make me see everything. It makes night into bright. Oh, here we go. Around the neighborhood. We're having a good old time just driving around. Oh, by stars. What do we see here? A young and all by themselves. Oh, 
Let's stop and say hello. Well, hey there, little youngin. Well, how are you? Do you want some uh, candy? We got some free candy for you. You want some candy, little girl? Well, come back here, little girl. Well, come back, come back. Come back. Oh, oh no, no, don't scream. No, oh, oh, oh no. Oh, come here, little girl. Oh, I dropped my candy. <laughs> Do you want your candy? <laughs> no, no, little girl. No, no. Mama, So, I don't know. Maybe we need to give these a try. Like I said, wearing them right now in the daytime, they are very bright. And I, I feel like I am seeing things with some clarity. So, yeah, let's give these a whirl. Let's, uh, you know, let's take them outside at nighttime and maybe we'll try and like walk through a maze or something. That would be pretty cool. Let's give them a whirl. Let's see what turning the night into bright looks like. All right, guys, so we're outside now and I just wanted to give you a quick look around the yard. It's our new garden, but you know, I've got the glasses on right now and they actually look pretty good. They actually do seem like I'm trying to... It's really hard to get the lens up to here, but... As you can see, you do get you know, some amount of clarity with it. There we go. But you can see everywhere it goes, you kind of get the same color on everything. So I don't know if it's more clear or if it's just the illusion since you're blocking blue light that everything, you know, now doesn't have to be multi-focal or, you know, involve multiple cones and rods in your eye. I don't know what the deal is, but I figure let's make a little bit of a test for this and see if maybe we can't use these at night. We'll come back outside and see how they look at nighttime. All right, guys, so we're outside right now and we just have a couple lights on and we've got you know, lights right there shining on the cars. We've got our little light outside, but not too much is going on out here. Um, without the glasses on, it, we can see grass. We can you know, see some neighbors with some lights. That's about it. There's not really a moon tonight to show you. But let's, um, you know, let's put the glasses in front of you guys. There you go. That's, that's the glasses. No glasses. Glasses. No glasses. Glasses. No glasses. Man, see, with the, <laughs> with the glasses on, I mean, it blocks out some of the light to the point where you can't, it's like dimmer. I think it's worse. Um, man, these night views turn the night into not bright but they turn the night into dark my goodness it's kind of crazy how much worse you see when you have these on these might be more of a, of a daytime gimmick i mean if you sold these to me as like high contrast like daytime driving glasses i'd be inclined to believe it but man uh i don't know about these ones all right guys so now we're going to put this to the test it's now nighttime as you saw in the, the glasses in the daytime kind of make everything look a little bit contrasty and by filtering out the blue light yes you can see a little bit more depth of detail so what we're going on back here is in this cabinet i've actually got my little down here my little ir camera set up so it'll be able to film in complete darkness so you guys can see what's going on but i can't Square is going to set up a course using random items. We got a bicycle right here in front of me. We got boxes, we got a tote, we got some barrels, we got some chafing dish holders for like uh, parties where you put the sternos in the bottom. And I'm gonna see if I can walk it without uh, killing myself or destroying something. So Square is gonna set that up and then we will come right back. Okay, I'm gonna go this way 
and there's a very vague outline of things that I can see right now. <laughs> Meant to do that. Corner, very stealthily. Okay. Hey, that was pretty good. I made it through pretty quickly. These glasses are amazing. Okay. Um, I think they look pretty good. All right. You guys saw that was a roaring success. I navigated those obstacles with the prowess of a proud. Savannah Lioness Lion Very creepy. I I don't know. I'm giving myself like Casey vibes here. I or Tom or something. Okay guys. Um I you know in this simulated environment, not so great. You're not gonna wanna get lost in the middle of the woods with these. You will be done like dinner. Um I could, couldn't even walk, I, I don't know, you guys can't even see this right now, but literally, when I came through this course, I thought I was walking around something, I didn't feel anything, so I cut this way, because I thought for sure there was going to be an obstacle right here, and then I immediately run to the bike, I don't know what I hit here, and things just start falling over, but man, that was crazy. Okay, so... All right, guys, so what do we think of the Night View NV glasses? Um, sure, $1.99 when I picked them up at Mark's, so I did not have high hopes for them. I will say during the daytime, I think they're not bad. I kind of like having the contrast. I can see where that would be helpful in certain situations uh, where you might want to filter out blue light, which you know I've heard can give you headaches or maybe some people are sensitive to. And at nighttime though, they're, they're a total train wreck. Um, don't, don't wear these when you're driving. You will get into an accident. You will hurt someone, seriously. I, I couldn't see two feet in front of me with these on. I, I honestly felt like my vision was worse. I mean, I was, when I was walking around out in that garage, vaguest outlines of things, um, it just, it does not turn the night into bright. It just makes everything so much harder to see because you're filtering out part of the light spectrum. And what if that's the only light spectrum you're seeing at that point in time? Uh, it's just, it's a stupid idea. Great idea if you're gonna be using them during the daytime, but you know what? We've got torches, we've got flashlights, we've got lanterns, we've got matches. We've, we've got all these wonderful things that create light and it's, why would you think a pair of glasses is going to fix your problem? I mean, if you really want some night vision, there's some Gen 2, Gen 3 stuff out there that's getting cheaper and cheaper every day. You can spend like 200 bucks now and get a really cheap pair of night vision goggles that aren't great, but I'll tell you what, at least you'd be doing something with your money rather than trying to look like, you know, Dahmer here, like you're gonna start slicing people up or abducting children, so. All right, guys. That's gonna do it with this one. If you can't tell, I would pass on these glasses unless you want them for some type of weird Jeffrey Dahmer cosplay. That'll do it for this one. We'll catch you next time. And as always, have a good night.